Hi, my name is Donna. My name is Shane. Oh, my name is Clara. I'm here to speak about depression. Anxiety and depression. Depression and anxiety. It's a bit black and white, but I just thought this this isn't right. This can't be this can't be normal. It certainly doesn't feel healthy. To me it felt like losing everything that made me who I was. I kept on myself, withdrew from my friends and social contacts, so I kinda knew there was something not just right there. It wasn't even that I wasn't looking forward to the future. I I just didn't want there to be a future, I guess. And I think that, that was the hardest emotion was the guilt and even just the numbness that came along with the feelings of just not feeling either happy or sad, just constant in the state of, I'm just here, but I'm really not experiencing anything. It, it prevented me from really engaging with college, either with my coursework or with social opportunities. I actually dropped um, college for the year and decided to focus on my own well-being instead. I found it hard to meet my deadlines and to keep up with work and to attend lectures because just physical symptoms of just feeling wrecked and everything just really got in the way. I guess talking with my mother and having her tell me um, that she doesn't recognize me anymore and that that girl I was, she feels like she disappeared and that really hit me. I could only just about confide in my mother because I really felt like I was a bit on the brink with it. My first protocol was really the GP and it was from there on that I kind of was referred to different specialists and psychiatry and different um, people in the medical profession. To admit to yourself and to someone that you need help and that you're not okay, it makes you feel very vulnerable. She uh, had me talk with my doctor who knows me very well and in turn then she referred me to a mental health professional. I went to counsel and I think that really helped and also was on medication, so both interlinked um, and yeah, at times I was frustrated why I was on medication, but in the long run it kind of has, it has helped me. It helped me put things into perspective and it helped me understand that I was not alone. By opening up I was able to kind of get different perspectives and eventually just write that and learn how to change the way I think for the better. I kind of looked up a lot on the internet and kind of wanted to become kind of aware of my symptoms and aware of why I was feeling like this and feel that this was okay. If I had not opened up, I would have, I don't know where I'd be right now. Having gone through depression, it really opened my eyes on what really matters in life. I have got positives out of it. Um, when I was in that place, no, I couldn't see out of it. So. Um, yeah, I kind of came to terms with myself, um, identified who I really was. Perceptions that I had of life and myself and talking about that and getting challenged was, uh, was really what helped me. I would tell the younger version of myself um, not to be afraid of getting help because it does not make you weak. It makes you stronger, it really does. In college, like there was counselling, there's academic support, there's supports for various different reasons. I'm, I'd never say don't drink, but I'm just saying just be aware of if you're feeling down, then uh, going drinking definitely isn't the way to remedy it. If anything, it just uh, it makes it worse. If you don't feel ready to go to a psychologist, you can talk to a friend or someone you care about, but it's really important that you don't stay alone in, in your pain because you don't deserve to go through so much pain alone. The reason I couldn't really share it with anyone that I knew, I just, I didn't want to be a burden. And, and yet, if you were to open up to them and say, I didn't share because I didn't want to be a burden, then they naturally go, no, that's silly, but Again, it's just all about perspectives. I've been at the very bottom and I've come back up and yeah, I may have fallen off the ladder a few times, but I'm still, I'm still getting up there. The things that I learned about myself was that I am strong and I am brave and I can go through pretty much anything, I think, with the right people around me and not being afraid to get help. I think I can make it. If anything bad that'll happen to me down the road, any circumstances out of my control, you know, I, I think it, it won't be it won't be nice, but I'll I'll know how to 
not let it get me down. I don't know how to just kind of move on and etc. <laughs>